Hello, I'm here to properly show you guys how to use the plugin MMO items. So first off, we can view any and all items created using the command MI space browse. Now pull up a GUI where we can view any armors that have been created, accessories, weapons, spears, so on and so forth. You can see how many there are that have been created, and once you click on one category, you can view all the individual items in there. There's different pages. And they can always go back with the back arrow key. Alright. So to create an item, we'll use the command mi create type of weapon and then its name. But before we can do that, we need to do mi list type. This will show you all the different types of items we can create. So here we can see we can create accessory types of items. Armor items, bow items, daggers, crossbows, gauntlets, hammers, even gemstones. All these are different. All these have worked into the plugin to have a different purpose. So let's just start out with a basic, a basic sword. We'll use slash mi create sword. Now they do have different types of sword, like a long sword or a thrusting sword. But for example, we'll just use a, the default sword. And then we'll name this test 72. Why not? It'll pull up a GUI, and here we'll have the item that we'll see once it's fully created. The gunpowder right here will, allow, will show us the command to get the item. So for the first material, you can see this, this one will show you what the item will be made out of. So right now it's currently set to the value of iron underscore sword. So if we click this and then we type apple. When we hold the item, it will now be an apple. But since it's a sword, we'll, let's make it a iron underscore sword. So we're back to the sword icon. So for this one, this shows how damaged the sword already is. So just it, completely ignore this one. Completely ignore this one. Okay, the max custom durability. This is the one where it's the plugin's own durability system. So if we click this here, we want to have 500 uses press that and we see that it, has a, it now has a durability bar. So each time this, you attack with the sword, the durability will go down by one by one by one until after 500 uses you won't be able to use it. So this one, um, just, just by reading it, it says if set to true, the item will break once it reaches zero durability. Now this is with the custom durability, not with vanilla durability. We want this to be set to false, always. Display name this is its name. So we can click this. We can use the Minecraft color code. So if we want it to be red and for test sword 72, we can use spaces too. And now if we hover over the weapon, it's called test sword 72. Bolding and italicization does work as well. <clears throat> for the lore, um, just left click it and then we'll. I, t I try to keep the lore lines short because, well, you'll see in a minute. So let's just ants six. That should be yellow or gold. I'll um, just say this is some test lore. So there we go. We got some test lore. Now, if we don't like that, we can right-click it. It'll take it away. See how it's gone now? So let's just add this back, and let's add another line of lore, and do the same line. Now we have two lines of lore. A lot of these you can ignore. Um, enchantments, we don't want that. That um, We won't be using enchanting. However, this option allows us to hide the enchanted item from the store, so it will still glow, but the player cannot see which enchantment it has. This is nice, so we can just enchant it with, like, Unbreaking 1 or something. I mean, it'll st still be set to Unbreakable, um, but this allows it for if it's a really overpowered weapon. It's glowing. It's cool. So that's a nice feature. Uh, permissions to use this item, don't worry about that. Um, do not worry about item particles, I'll worry about that. Um, you don't have to worry about this one. Always select these four as off. And then, don't worry about this one. Required level, so this is the level you need to be to be able to use this weapon or equip it with its armor. So, let's say if it's a high level sword, it's gonna be a high level. So for this, we'll just use level five. So now if we hover over the weapon, it requires level 5. Required class, SAO does not have classes. Don't worry about this. Attack damage. This is self-explanatory, so we can set this as high as we want. Let's just set it to 100,000. 
Why not? There we go. Attack damage now, 100,000. Attack speed. So basically, uh, with the combat, with combat past 1.9, it has the uh, little timer bar. This allows you to uh, utilize that, make it go refill faster or slower. I believe the default attack speed is two, but you might want to go research that just in case. So now, if we hover it over again, we can see attack damage, attack speed. Next page. Yes, there's more than that. So critical strike chance, and then we have the critical strike power. So the chance is the percentage on hit that the power will hit. So if we do power, if it hits a critical chance, it does 50 extra damage as to what we just set it to. And critical strike chance will set 5% chance. So now every single time you hit with a sword, it has 5% chance to deal 50% more power. I should mention that. Block power. This is for more shields. Just just read each and every description. It's all self-explanatory. It's a very simple plugin. Um, but let's see here. Yes, you can set commands um, when you right-click items. This is typically used for uh, just not like weapons or anything, but items like keys or something that gives you certain per that gives you a permission that other players don't have because you completed a certain quest or something. It, it's nice to be used for that. Um, Two-handed. This is very important. Some of the weapons in SEO are two-handed. When set to true, a player can only be holding this. If they're holding something else in their other hand, then they will not be able to really move or attack. So it's very important that for two-handed weapons, this is clicked on. Don't worry about max mana, stamina, or anything like that. Um, you can worry about health. Let's see. Elements, no need to worry about that. Um, no need to worry about the furnace recipes or shapeless recipes or any of those recipes. I can handle that. Um, no need to worry about stamina regeneration, mana, same old, same old. Or the item upgrading. I, c I will handle that. Basically what this does is it allows you to plus one, plus two things. So basically when you upgrade it using an item, the sword gets extra damage or extra abilities, that type of deal. Um, a little bit harder to configure, so I will do that myself. But that's pretty much it. So now, once we hover over the weapon, we can see everything we added to it. We just get the item. There we go. Now we have the weapon. Back out of that. There it is. Uh-oh, I, I made a mistake. Gotta go back and fix the sword. We can do that. All we have to do is input the same command we did. Let me go back up to it. So instead of MI create sword test 72, we'll do MI edit sword test 72. And therefore, it brings back the GUI with the same weapon. And let's say, let's add in. Let's say we want to change the attack damage to 5. 100,000 damage too powerful. It needs 5 damage. Now you can see it's updated get the item. However, the old item will not be updated. They do have a command that automatically updates all the items. I forget that one. I'll post it in trial or something like that. But yeah, that is MMO items.